Why should you be a doctor? Is it for the money? Is it for the respect? Is it because you wanted to serve people? Or is there something else? Let's find out. Hey guys, I am Al Amin Ashraf. I'm a final year medical student at Ames Bonesha. I make videos about tech for students, health and fitness, productivity, and my journey of becoming a doctor. Let's talk about money. In India, we have this misconception that doctors earn a lot. Let's break that down. The journey of a doctor starts with him preparing for medical entrance examination. For two years, you literally torture yourself and you clear the medical entrance get a seat in a medical college, maybe your dream college if you are one of the fortunate ones or else some college you get in. Then what happens for the next four and a half years, you are going to read a lot of stuff. You are going to try to study a lot of stuff. You are going to give hundreds of examinations and you are going to be humiliated in front of patients, your juniors and other doctors in the name of Fiverr. And you clear all that. Somehow you manage to pop pass all that and you reach the final examination. You give that exam, you pass that exam and you have the doctor tag in front of your name. So four and a half years gone. Now, if you look at your friends, some of your friends who chose other professions would have landed a job and some of them will be earning a lot of money. And when you check your WhatsApp statuses, you will be seeing some of your friends posting statuses as the phone I bought with my own money, the things that I bought for my parents with my, my own money things like that they will be posting and you will be like I did a mistake man if your primary goal was money then at that point you will feel disheartened if you were a guy who dreamt of owning a Ferrari and going to the hospital in that wearing a fancy suit then you are so wrong because doctors don't earn that much just being a doctor won't make you able to buy a Ferrari I'm not saying that doctors will be poor, you will be in the upper middle class. So if your primary aim is making a lot of money fast, then don't come into this profession, go to some other profession. There are a lot of other jobs which can satisfy that. Then let's talk about respect. My parents told me, being a doctor is a noble profession, that you will be respected everywhere. But are doctors in India respected enough? If it was so, then there wouldn't have been these many cases of violence against doctors. There wouldn't be doctors being hit with rods. There wouldn't be doctors whose ears are beaten off. Then let's talk about serving people. During the orientation class, one teacher comes and asks, why do you want to become a doctor? Some of my batchmates reply, because I wanted to serve people. That's why I chose this profession. I don't know whether they are saying the truth or not, but that's not a strong or valid reason for becoming a doctor. Because you could have been a social worker or a politician. Then you could have touched a lot of lives. You could have helped a lot of people. You could have changed a lot of lives without having to go through some 10 years of intense work. You can just directly start helping people. If helping people is your primary goal, then don't come into this profession. Who is this profession for? It's for the person who is ready to work hard I have this friend, he's very intelligent, he's smart. Like he didn't used to cram all the things, he didn't used to work so hard. He listened to class, he understood stuff and he got a very high rank in medical entrance examination. But after coming to medical college, he tried to do the same thing. Just understanding stuff and not going reading that or trying to memorize stuff. So the first examination came along and he failed all the three examinations all the three one day he comes and tells me bro medical school is so different if you don't put the work in you don't you can't even pass the examinations you have to go back sit and read a lot of stuff and memorize that then only you will be able to pass examinations i'm not saying that you being smart won't help but you will have to put in a lot of work if you are not ready to work hard then don't come into this profession. Then it's for the person who is ready to be a leader. I'm not saying that leadership quality is a prerequisite. You can develop it along the way, but you should be ready to be a leader. You should be ready to take risks. You should be ready to listen to the problem faced by your subordinates. 
or else you will become a very arrogant and bad doctor so to be a doctor you need to be a good leader then it is for the person who likes to interact with people who has a way around people people say that being a radiologist or a pathologist you don't have to interact with patients but you do have to interact with your colleagues with other doctors so if you hate talking to people conversing with people then you can't quite make it in this field then it is for the person who has a flair for science if you are the guy who asks the why for everything why is it happening like that why is it design so why are we not doing it like that if you are this guy who asks why for everything then come be a doctor because what you do here is find the why for everything why did this patient fall ill why he is not responding to these medications or why he is responding differently then it is for the person who is not afraid of giving exams if you are a guy who is very scared to give exams who gets nervous whenever he hears the word exam then medical school is not for you you clear the medical entrance get into medical college then what happens you are about to give more and more examinations like there will be hundreds of written tests in the course of these four and a half years and a lot of vivas like in those vivas you will be literally humiliated in front of like your uh, friends a juniors and patients and somehow you will have to tackle it you will have to be able to face these examinations without taking a lot of stress then after this the pg entrance comes you will have to give another examination to specialize then after that more examinations so like giving exam is an integral part of being a doctor so if you are afraid to give exams then don't come into this profession i tell you don't don't even think of being a doctor if you are afraid to give exams it is not for the person who was pushed into this by their parents so if it's not your idea to become a doctor it's better to not even try because you will have to put in a lot of effort to clear the medical entrance then in the medical school and then realizing that you don't want to be a doctor you came into this profession just because my parents pushed me it's going to hit you real hard if it was not your idea to be a doctor at one point you will want to quit so it's better to quit before starting you will be putting in a lot of efforts to clear the medical entrance then in the medical school you will be studying a lot trying to pass the exams and all and after that after like one or two years you are going to quit that's a lot of waste of time you don't want that so if fits your idea then only come into this profession so who is this profession for it is for the person who has a flair for science who is ready to put in the hard work who is ready to take risks and responsibilities as a leader who is not afraid to take examinations who is ready to settle for an upper middle class lifestyle who is ready to serve and interact with people and most importantly a person who chose himself or herself to become a doctor thank you guys for making it till the end if you like what you see leave a thumbs up do subscribe to this channel for more content like this and ring the notification bell and i would like to see why you became a doctor in the comment section below bye till we meet again